Hi there, this is Bronwyn, and in this video we're going to talk about how to put a web form into your WordPress blog. Now this is assuming you already have the plugin to be able to put JavaScript into your your post, and um, and if you don't, then just go go do that. Just find the plugin where you can put in JavaScript or HTML. Okay, what I like to do to make it easy for beginners, um, if you don't know how to read HTML, you don't know how to figure out what what it is when you're looking at it in here. Um, just type in when you're in the visual view where you can edit it with this stuff. Type in web form here. Make it so it stands out for you. So I just do it in all caps. Then we're going to center it. So select it and just center it by clicking here. Now this is where your web form will appear after you replace these words with the JavaScript. The next thing we're going to do is click on right here where it says HTML. It's going to change the tab so you, you will see a bunch of um, code if you have a whole bunch of, of uh, like a 500 word um, article in here. You'll see a lot of stuff, um, but since this is pretty small, it's not going to be that much. Let's just go look at that. Okay, now here you can see what I mean. <laughs> There's this all this code, you're just going to ignore it. It needs to stay there. What you're going to do is just select web form here like this and then we're going to go over to our Aweber account and we already have a web form created um, so we're going to skip over here to the publish tab and you want to select I will install my form and here's your code that you need you're just going to replace web form here with this code. So select it and then go back over to your, uh, or, sorry, select it and do control C or, or copy and, um, and then come back over to your WordPress blog. Okay, now I've got highlighted what I just pasted in. This is exactly what you're going to do. When you go back to your WordPress blog, you're just going to paste in the JavaScript. Um, and then you can um, we're gonna we're gonna view your uh, you're gonna preview your post, excuse me. You won't be able to see the web form in the visual. You'll only be able to see it when you look at the actual blog post. So let's go ahead and do that. You just click right here on preview to be able to see it. And you can see that the web form is showing up like it should be. You can fill it in and it's all perfect. Anyway, so that's how to do that. Um, you use the same method to put a web form into an article on your MLSP site. So um, you'll just go to source code. Do the same thing. When you're in the editor, the visual editor, just type in web form here and center it and then you can go in and find where you should put your code. It just makes it a little easier and it's fast. You can just do it really quick. Alright, we'll see you next time.